Yep. Right, here we are again out on an adventure down here in chilly old Christchurch. That's just not too bad today. It's been quite good actually. Last time that we were here, we only had about half an hour, 20 minutes sort of down on the beach. Found some real cool little fossils. But today, we've got all afternoon. So, yeah. So we're, down, we're actually down here in Christchurch on business. So we're taking a, a day out of our schedule and gonna go hunt some fossil. Come along, see what we find, enjoy the hunt with us, and we'll catch it down on the beach. Yep, so we're down here on the beach, and today we got some, yeah, a pretty, pretty amazed a mentor, not a mentor, but someone who I highly respect and follow on YouTube is coming out to be fossil hunting with us. And today we've also got a geologist, another paleontologist, and got a French guy here who's doing study on whale stranding, so he's looking for fossil whale bone. So, let's get in, see what we can find, or anything really. Fossils everywhere. So here we have Mornay, thanks for coming along with us, or well, yeah. thank you for having us come along with you. That's <laughs> all good. So we're here on the beach and what are we looking for? We're looking, what have we got here? Uh, that's a piece of bone sticking out of the concretion. Yep. Don't know what it's from, it's very worn down. So I'll leave it here on the beach, there's not much you can tell from that, but that's kind of what you're looking for. You've got the concretion, which is the sedimentary rock in there and there's a bone inside. And also the crabs, of course. Yep. Lots of crabs around. Cool. Now uh, we'll go and see if we can find something. So we're down here. It's just after midday, probably about one o'clock. Shell in that rock. Look at these here. All oh, the burrows and yeah, well, he is Mornay calling me over, so. Let's go see what he's found. Uh, I reckon it's be something special. No, him, he's got his eye in here. So we'll go to see what he's got, eh? Let's go have a look at this. So you've got a find here, Mornay? Yeah, it's a, a bird bone. You can see the, looks like a long bone coming out there with the joint. And there's a few more bits in there. And luckily we had Sophie here from Otago University and she uh, could identify it as bird. Probably bird, not 100% sure yet. We're going to have to prep away this rock over here to see what secrets it's got, but there's bone throughout it. Nice little cluster of bones. What a cool find! Yeah, I thought it was a crab at first, and I'm like, wait, that doesn't look like crab. <laughs> now you can see it does, eh? Hey? It does look like a. Yeah, sh the shaft of a yeah, leg, leg bone, bone or something. Uh, could be a leg bone or a, a wing bone. It looks pretty strong, so maybe. Here are the fossils ready for scanning. You can see my turtle skull on the front there. 
then that bird concretion I found recently, and then some other fossils from the museum. And a big thanks to Paul from Canterbury Museum for organizing this. Now we go into the control room where we're safe from the x-rays. Idea of what bones are in there. And this is that other bone cluster, the one with the bird bones in And you can see quite a few bones inside there, way more than I thought. So here we have some biozoan, some soft coral. That is pretty cool. Wish I had the car. I'm only flying and that's about five kilo. So I won't be able to pack that out. So we'll leave it here on the rock for someone else to find. But there's been some nice finds today. That bird bone from Monet. That's pretty cool, alright. That's a real special. Yeah, well, here's Mornay calling me over, so let's go see what he's found. There's a bit of a crab in this mud stone coming out of the cliff. So the clay's falling off around it, it's very delicate. Focus. There we go. That won't survive the trip home. So I'll leave it here. Yeah, well, here's Mornay calling me over, so let's go see what he's found. Uh, I reckon it's be something special. No, him, he's got his eye in here. So we'll go, go see what he's got, eh? Let's go have a look at this. That's the end of the joint, and it's kind of going there. And I think they've got it like a, a big, um, what do you call it? It's the mandible, the coronoid process. Could be back here, and then it just carries on through, and then it's just broken off. But you can see that nice bone there.
I'm not sure if there's more in there. But then the concretions behind it also have both. We've got some bone over in here. Yeah. Yeah, so that definitely looks like bone. Yeah, that's bone. And then this one, this looks like ribs going straight down. So over here and there. You can see on that side there's quite a, a long piece. So that's probably all from the same animal. They're the same, like they're in a row. Yep. And there's probably something in here too because that looks. If you think this is further back, that might be the skull area. Really. So what sort of age are these? Uh, in Miocene, late Miocene. Late Miocene? Miocene. I, think, uh, I think between four and eight, or even two and eight. Two to eight million years old? Yeah. Have a look on this side. Oh, oh yeah. So this one, that one, that one, and that one. All over. <laughs> yeah. So here we found some a whale skull. Have you found this? It's incredible. <laughs> Your name? Cayman. Cayman. Cayman found this. So, I'm sure other people have seen it. So this here has been identified as a whale skull. So this this area through here is the, the back of the skull. And here is the ear. And from what I understand is it gets closer to the ear, the bone is more dense so that it's more shiny. Like that there. So yeah, you can see the, the outline there. <laughs> that is pretty cool. Thank you Sophie for doing this uh, diagram here on the beach for us. So what we've got here is just an outline of the whale skull, what it looks like with the bones. So the part that we're looking at is this bit here on the on the back of the skull. So we're looking at the back of the skull. On the other side is the rostrum or the jaw bones. And you can see the ear bones that have been highlighted there. Yeah, so we've been looking around for a couple of hours. It's been pretty cool been awesome having Monet sort of be able to explain what things are and the, the less from Otago University such a wealth of information on those uh, whale fossils that we found the skulls and stuff so yeah that's, that's pretty cool they would explain what everything was and uh, it makes it just that much more interesting going out with a professional who knows what they're doing. So, feeling a bit naked now. Hard work picking your way across the rocks. We just have a bit of a walk back to the car park and see if we can find anything. So, I haven't really found anything much today. The Mornay has given me a couple of samples of crab and a in a crayfish, so that's pretty cool. Can't take too much because I'm flying home. So, thanks for coming with us on this adventure here. So, remember our next one. We'll be going, going out again for sure. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing, and we'll see you on the next trip.